Yo guys, so before the video starts, I actually wanted to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, my friends over at Adam and Eve. You guys already know the deal, Adam and Eve is the number one adult toy site on the entire planet, and today we've actually teamed up to give you 50% off an item of your choice, plus free shipping, when you use code JAMARI. That's J-A-M-A-R-I JAMARI. Whether you're buying something for yourself, or something for your partner, or just someone special in your life, they've got stuff for everyone, okay? They've got stuff for men, they've got stuff for women, they've got stuff for everybody on the spectrum. So y'all go use my discount and y'all have fun on adamandeve.com. So there's a streamer out there who goes by the name Wings of Redemption, and this man has been creating content on the internet for the last 13 years, and he's still managing to somehow make enough money to survive. At first he started out as a legit gaming channel, actually one of the first on YouTube who was friends with some of the bigger names in gaming in the early 2010s. You know, back when Modern Warfare 2 was still the biggest game on earth, and people still had fun running around with their noob tubes and trick shotting with their dreams of being in either optic or phase clan whoa i'm back it's your boy wings of redemption and i'm here with another commentary for persona gaming but it's been a really long time since that whole era died and after he was kicked off of the popular pk podcast in a very embarrassing fashion he's really been scratching the surface of relevancy as most people have forgotten about him altogether at this point these days and for the last several years he has made a career off of being made fun of and harassed while playing video games on twitch there are literally hour-long compilations of this man raging crying and overall hating his entire existence Fuck you! Fuck you! Can I crack that? You're worthless because, like, I don't give a shit if you watch or not. You're not worth any money to me. I don't. I mean, my grandma's here, but like, I barely see her. It's not gonna happen, buddy. It's not gonna happen. You go. Fuck. Fuck you. I'm just trolling you, chill. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. What? Who the fuck says that? I say that because you're a fucking piece of shit. You're a human equivalent of a piece of shit. It's a video game. What the fuck? And I know on the surface it might look like most people are just picking on this man possibly because he is overweight. But as someone who has followed his career for quite some time, I can confidently say it has everything to do with him being a massive crybaby puss boy who loves to play the victim while also putting up a front like he's some sort of badass. Then it has to do with him being overweight. I mean at one time everyone was actually encouraging this guy to lose weight. People were donating to him to get some sort of surgery that he never even got, and that all kind of goes hand in hand with his impulsive tendency to lie about his life and things he's done in his past. He's the type of guy to tell a lie so many times at some point he actually starts to believe it's true. So it's safe to say that at this point the only people watching his streams are there to either troll him or to watch him get trolled and rage. Man, that guy that just followed, yeah, I'm probably gonna end the stream here soon. I mean, it's been almost two hours, I haven't had a donation yet. My health is starting to fail. I don't have the money to deal with my health problems. I am a continual failure on losing weight. And my YouTube channel went from 8 million views a month to 200,000 views a month. I live off the charity of others. I haven't seen my penis in probably 8 years. Sugar controls my life 110%. I probably have untreated diabetes. And I basically have to play games for a living that I fucking hate. He's lost the respect of most of the people he used to consider friends, and overall he logs onto Twitch to slowly descend more and more into sheer madness every single day. And most recently a picture of him leaked, and this wasn't just any picture, it was a D pic. And you might think, oh what's the big deal, every guy has sent one of those from time to time, but obviously a guy like this is very insecure. And I guess people in his Twitch chat were giving him shit about his hungry caterpillar, so you know he had to go into full-on defensive streamer mode and with the help of his girlfriend sitting there it makes for some of the most cringy stuff i've ever seen on a live stream <laughs> what's my thoughts on my leaked dick pic i don't give a shit everybody knows how big my dick is there's a reason i've always said it was the thick six it's small as fuck mm-mm mm-mm 
I love how he keeps looking to her for some sort of backup and she just couldn't give a shit. It's like when you're trying to tell one of your friends a bold-faced lie in front of another one of your friends and they just leave you out to dry, which has to be one of the worst feelings ever. In general, sharing the size of your member is a very strange thing to do, and anyone who feels the need to do so is likely capping their ass off and very insecure. I mean, it's almost like you can literally feel the small d energy literally radiating from the screen. I understand the picture you seen was a terrible one. It was like on a chub. How big do you think my dick is? Would you say it's more six inches? I don't know. Would you say it's the length of the water bottle? Mm, I don't know. You could answer it. Mm, I don't know. How don't you know? You see it. <laughs> do I? Mm-hmm. This man really just asked, would you say it's the length of a water bottle? I'm dead. She's like, listen, I'll stretch it as far as a Crayola crayon. That's all I can really do for you today. Also, everyone knows when you're having a little photo shoot for your little friend, you gotta make him look nice. Hit all those right angles, give him a haircut, maybe get a nice little vein going. Ain't no one out here in their right mind sends in a pic of their flaccid water hose. And she must be really pissed off at this guy. Look at the look in his eyes as his pupils beg her to say something in agreement about his pecker. And she's just giving him absolutely absolutely nothing zero zilch you won't back me up <laughs> why are you worried about that who needs to care if you how big your penis is but your wife that's mm -hmm. it so why why worry about what they think mm -hmm. you came here to drop that bombshell <laughs> like you won't even answer the question you're really disturbed about yeah. that aren't you yeah but you know it's that yes it is everyone he's very girthy Mm. Happy? Yes. Happy it'd, been, it'd been happier if you didn't give them 15 minutes worth of content. <laughs> So yeah, I just thought that that was hilarious. There's tons of other Wings of Redemption content that I can cover, so let me know if you guys want to see that. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today and subscribing, dropping a big like. And as you guys know, there's some other crazy streamers out here that need to get covered. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!